Okay, it has not been even 24 hours since the top 30 was announced. And I already have a very, very early top 12 list. Now, as I was making this list, I was thinking to myself, you know, I got some information about Crown Chasers this year from a very reputable source that they were going to be doing eliminations each episode. So I thought to myself, I don't know how this is going to work. And then we also have to take fan votes into account because you can also vote your fave into the top 12. So obviously, there's going to be a fan vote. There's always a fan vote. And um, I just thought to myself, I just need to write down my 12 favorite contestants right now and then if it changes it changes and uh, I will adjust as the girls potentially get eliminated during crown chases so let's get into this first of all I have Anne Westazen she's 25 and a teacher and she was in the top 30 at Miss South Africa 2021 what I love about Anne is just she just seems like such a genuine person and she's grown a lot since Miss South Africa 2021 I mean her first entry video was a bit pedestrian but she has grown a lot and I definitely love how she has grown you can see that she has worked on herself but she still kept that genuine side of her so I love Anne. then we have Barbara Muachi who is 22 she is a big fan favorite and you can definitely see that she's trying her best to put her best foot forward her photos have been amazing I love what I've been seeing from Barbara I just want her to keep on doing what she's doing because she is just everything then we have carmen barnard who is 24 and a law graduate carmen is so beautiful she is so photogenic and she's obviously very smart as well being a law graduate and all of that so i'm very excited to see what's going to be happening with carmen kelo boha and kashi of course had to make the list she's 27 an educator and of course was in the top 10 at miss south africa 2022 what I really like about Kiala Bocha is the amount of positive things that I've heard about her. All of her fellow contestants at Miss South Africa 2022 has not said one bad word about her. In fact, I just keep hearing good things about her. You know, how she's a hard worker, how she's very ambitious and, you know, in a good way. And just she gets along well with others and it shows, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And that's to me is very important in the pageant industry. Then we have Laverne Jose, aka Donatella, and she is 23. And unfortunately, someone pointed out to me that she's the, actually the only colored girl who made the top 30. Now, uh, if you're from an international audience, of course, this might be very confusing, but in South Africa, there are, there are different uh, levels. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. There are different categories of race and, you know, being mixed race and colored is its own category. And she's the only one who made it. But then we have Lungo Katete, who is 26 and an architecture graduate. She is a former Miss Earth South Africa and actually placed in the top 20 at Miss Earth. I just think she's so adorable and I can't wait to see what's going to be happening with her. Of course, also in my top 12, we have Jordan van der Feyfer, who is 27 and a top 10 contestant at Miss South Africa 2020. Jordan is just everything. Oh, I think Jordan might be the one to bring us a Miss Universe title, as well as another woman who is further down on this list, but we'll get to that later. But Jordan is just, oh my goodness. Then we have Lebohang Raputsu, who is 24 and an HR practitioner. Of course, she was also in my original top 30 prediction. I just adore her. Then, of course, I had to include Melissa Nayamuli, who is 27 and was a top 5 contestant at Miss South Africa 2020. Melissa also definitely could be the one to bring us a Miss Universe crown. Of course, speaking of Miss Universe, I had to include Natasha Yubad, who is 25 and was a second runner-up at Miss South Africa 2020, as well as Miss Universe South Africa 2020. Unfortunately, infamously, she went and placed at Miss Universe. I am anxious to see what's going to be happening with Natasha now that the Miss World title is no longer on the table at Miss South Africa. So... Um, obviously, if she does win, she will have to be sent to Miss Supranational, but then who gets sent to Miss Universe, you know? 
Then we have Nicole Volmans Extian. Uh, her surname is Extian now that she got married, but she was Volmans back in the day when she was a top 35 contestant at Miss South Africa 2020. She's 28 years old and also a Survivor South Africa winner. I will keep harping on the fact that she is a Survivor South Africa winner because that is a huge deal. That is a huge, huge deal. And I love that about her and I can't wait to see how she's going to be using her skills when it comes to the crown chases <sighs> challenges that they're going to be having this year. I love Nicole. She is like literally my heart of heart fave for this year. Let me put it that way. Is she my fave to be representing South Africa internationally? No, I think that goes to Melissa and Jordan. Um, but Nicole, <laughs> I just hope she gets really, really close to the crown. Uh, because I loved her on Survivor South Africa and I just want to see as much of her as possible. Then we have Naledi Mara, lastly, who is 23 and holds a BA degree in Criminology and Psychology. I just also think that she gives off Miss South Africa vibe. She's so adorable. So yes, that was my early top 12 for Miss South Africa 2023. Let me know how I did. What do you guys think? Are there some other girls who I left off the list who you guys like? Rina, what are you doing? You need to start looking at this person, start looking deeper at this person. Let me know. I'm always open to suggestion because I know that 90% of you guys know so much more about Miss South Africa than me. In fact, there's one guy who always comments, Andre Malan. That guy is like the encyclopedia of Miss South Africa history. I don't, I'm not sure how old he is, but he, I'm sure he can tell you things about Miss South Africa in 1956. Like he can write a nice, long, bulky comment about any year in Miss South Africa history. And I always enjoy reading it so much because I'm such a history buff. And you know, just searching around on the internet, you never get the full picture of what the social pulse was at the time. So I have, I love having people in the comments, you know, being able to tell me what the social pulse or social feeling was around a certain historical pageant event. I absolutely love it. So Andre, shout out to you. You are just amazing. And I just love you always informing me about Miss South Africa history. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.